Before we go into the performance reports section of Google AdSense, it's important to take a look at a few key terms that we're going to be seeing within that section. The first one is page views. Page views in Google AdSense are when an advertisement in a Google AdSense ad unit is viewed by a user on a website. The more page views you have, the more money you're going to make. The second term is clicks, which is pretty straightforward. When a user clicks on an advertisement in a Google AdSense ad unit, a click is recorded, and we'll see that in the performance reports. Click-through rate is the ratio of clicks a particular ad on a website receives in comparison to the total number of page views it has received. So for example, if you receive 100 page views on a certain advertisement and it was clicked once, your click-through rate is going to be 1%. Cost per click is the amount of money paid by an advertiser for each click an ad receives in a Google AdSense ad unit. So every time somebody clicks on an ad on your website, an advertiser is paying a certain amount of money for that specific click. So when we take a look at the performance reports within Google AdSense, we can see what our average cost per click is. Revenue per thousand impressions, also known as RPM, is the average amount of revenue earned by a publisher for 1,000 impressions on a particular ad unit or website. I talked about this term earlier in the course, but I think it's really important because this, to me, is the best metric that I use to measure the performance of my Google AdSense advertisements. Estimated earnings is the total amount of revenue earned by a publisher regardless of the number of page views. So as we take a look at the Google AdSense performance reports, we might look at a monthly view of our performance. If we take a look at the estimated earnings in that report, we'll be seeing the estimated earnings for that month. If we take a look at a daily view within the performance reports section, we'll only be seeing the estimated earnings for that day, which again is important because it's how much money you're earning. Ad requests refer to the total number of times an ad unit on a particular website requests Google AdSense to serve a relevant and related advertisement. In other words, every time a user goes to a page on your website with an ad unit, that ad unit is requesting Google AdSense to put an ad inside of it. Hopefully, as we'll talk about with the next term, every time you request an advertisement to be served, one appears on your website. Because the term coverage refers to the percentage of ad requests in which a relevant and related advertisement is found and displayed within the ad unit. So if every time an ad unit requests an advertisement from Google AdSense, and an advertisement is placed within that ad unit, your coverage is going to be 100%. And that's really what you want. You don't want an ad unit to request an advertisement and nothing to be found to put in that ad unit. That means that you might need some additional keywords, or you might have to tweak the title on your page so that Google can more easily find a relevant advertisement to display on your web page. Also, remember that with this course, there's a handout sheet that has a number of definitions so that you can print out that sheet and have it next to you to refer back to as we take a look deeper into the performance report section of Google AdSense.